Hey guys, welcome to RT Studio. I'm Kara. And I'm Kasia. And we are going to show you guys how to make this beautiful Mondrian style Valentine's Day heart. And all you guys have to do today is follow, follow along with us. We are going to go step by step and help you all the way through. Okay, so the first thing we need to go over are a few supplies. And this one are just some really simple supplies. Most of you should have these at home. You ready, Kason? Let's show them what supplies they need. So you need some paper. Awesome. We need some paper. We're going to want um, white paper and black paper. So either white and black construction paper, or you can use white cardstock and black construction paper. Um, we cut ours in postcard size, but you can use a full sheet if you guys want. And then what are we going to need, Kason? Then we're going to need a ruler. Going to need a ruler. Awesome. So mine is a clear ruler, but any ruler will work. And then we're going to need a pencil. A pencil? Yes, we always need a pencil. And then we're going to need a Sharpie. A black Sharpie. Um, or if you have just a fine tip marker, that's fine. Then we're going to need three different color crowns that are yellow, red, and blue. Yes, we are going to just use yellow, red, and blue in this um, piece of art because this is what the artist did and these are our primary colors, right Kason? Yes. And so we are going to just use these three primary colors to color with. And then we need some scissors. You need some scissors and the last thing you're going to need is glue. a little bit of glue. Okay, so these are the things you are going to need to make your masterpiece today. Are you guys ready to get artsy okay guys so a little bit about the artist today his name was Piet Mondrian and he was an, a Dutch artist that made art in the 1920s and he had a style of art called the stigil. And what he did was reduce paintings to the four elements. So that would be line, shape, color, and space. So this first step, we are really going to focus on line. Okay, so you are going to grab your ruler and your black marker or you can use a pencil first if you're nervous, and then you can go over in your black marker. So that's what Kason's going to do, and I'm going to just do mine in the black marker. Um, and you're going to take your white piece of paper, and we're going to draw some lines. And I want to show you the example. See, what we're doing is making rectangle and square shapes in um, different line patterns. So you're going to start out with aligning your ruler because you want to make sure your lines are straight with the edge of your paper and I'm just going to draw a black line across and then I'm going to align my ruler again and draw a black line coming down. Do you want to do it Kason? Sure. Okay. Make sure you align Good job, Kason. Okay, and then maybe another way. So he's going to do his off to the side. His isn't going to look exactly like mine, and that's fine. And then once he's done, we're going to go back over with a Sharpie. So his looks really nice. So I'm going to draw another line. And like I said, Yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a little square up at the top. We just want as close to straight lines as we can get. And then I'm going to put another line here. And another line here. And maybe another line here. So I've got lots of different lines. Okay, so 
this is my design, but yours can be completely different. And you probably are going to come up with something different than mine. But the whole point of this is just to make rectangle or square shapes and straight lines. Okay, Kaysen, you ready to do yours? Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so now we are finished, and you can see Kaysen's, and you can see mine, and they look different, but they both look very, very similar. Um, and so we did use the element of lines, right, Kaysen? Yes. And we used the element of space, right, Kaysen? Because we yes. had to space out our... What yes. other element did we use? We used line element. We used line we used space and we used shape. Mm hmm. Because what kind of shapes do we have here? We have squares, we have rectangles, we have skinny rectangles. <laughs> so we used shape, space, and line. So what do you think is our next element going to be? Colors. Colors, that's right. And what kind of colors are these? They're red, yellow, and blue. Also known as primary colors, right? Okay, so Mondrian Art used only a few colors, which were red, yellow, and blue, known as the primary colors, um, taking it back to the basics. So that's what we're going to use today. So what you are going to do is you're not going to put color every single square. See how there's a lot of white space here? And you're not going to put the colors together. So we have a yellow square up here. A yellow square down here they're kind of all spaced out so I'm just gonna show you where I'm gonna put mine and then um, how we're going to color them so I'm gonna start out with my yellow and the yellow Crayola marker here and I'm just going to color a little bit and we want to color in the same direction so we're gonna color going down so I colored a little bit and then I keep going down in little bitty sections in the same direction and that's how we make a really nice and neat color. And you guys who have little ones, um, you could have already drawn out the lines for them and then they can color as well. So this is a great art project for the little guys too. They just need a little help. Okay. So we got the yellow done here, and I think we're going to do another yellow down here. And again, going in the same direction. Really making it look neat. Kaysen, do you want to go ahead and use another color? Sure. You could use the blue. I'm going to go ahead and use a blue. And then I am going to... Go in the same direction. Then I'm going to move on to the red. So I'm not going to... I'm going to leave some space and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do this part red. Again, going in the same direction. And then maybe you'll have to align the outside. And then I'm going to jump down here and Put another red one. So okay, so now we are done with our coloring element. And if you guys want to learn more about the primary colors, we actually have a coloring book, um, a color theory workbook. 
and it goes through primary colors, secondary colors, a lot of color theory and mixing colors. Um, so you guys can check that out as well. But we are going to move on to our next step, which is we are going to get out our black piece of paper. And on Kaysen's I and this is double-sided paper, so his is brown on one side and black on the other. And we're going to, I went ahead and drew a heart on his side. Um, I folded it in half and drew half of a heart so that we get symmetrical shape when we cut it out. Um, just to help him out, I went ahead and drew it, but I drew it on the back side because um, if you accidentally go off the paper a little bit, it won't um, show when we glue it down. So you want to go ahead and cut that out, Kaysen? Sure. And I'm going to go ahead and cut mine out. I'm just going to freehand mine. So if you feel more comfortable with drawing yours out first, and then then freehanding it or then cutting it out versus freehanding it, do that. So I just folded mine in half, and then I'm going to cut my heart. And here's mine. Let me see it. Oh, that looks good. So we're actually going to use the other side so I'm just gonna clean mine up a little bit and we're gonna use this part of the heart so we're just going to lay that down on top of our white piece and that is what we are going to glue down so Where's your piece, Kaysen? My piece? White, yeah. Okay. So, see how we're going to lay it down? Can you lay yours down? Sure. So, you're going to open it up. Uh, you want it to be on the black side. Oh. And you're going to lay it down. So, you see, you can see all your cool colors. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just take a little bit of glue and we're going to glue on the outline of it. Just a little outline there, Kaysen. Okay. And then we are going to take it on top of our paper and we're just going to press it down. So. Okay, so now you are done with your piece, so all you have to do is sign it and you can sign it with a white pencil or a um or a silver sharpie and this is our final piece and so what i did with this one is i actually made this one into a little um postcard so or like valentine's day card so i put you are anything but basic because we use the basic colors haha <laughs> cute little valentine's day and then um, I signed it or you can make yours into a larger piece or you can just keep it as it is um, so we guys want to we want to see your guys's art if you want to send it to us you can share it with us at www.artcstudio.com or you can um, share it to our Instagram at artcstudio and if you like this video, please subscribe to see more. And um, if you guys want our art theory book, it is a 12 page free printable. You can go to our website and um, subscribe and we will send it to you. Okay? All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.